Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with a free Dow analysis for you for the trading session dated Tuesday, 5th of July after a long, long break. This is my main wave count for the Dow, which is expecting that we've had a high in place in the end of the cycle wave B zigzag. The credit crunch drop from the all time high was cycle wave A, and here's the end of cycle wave B zigzag and the start of cycle wave C for a super cycle zigzag. Cycle C will reach equality with A at 5,052.91 points. That's a reasonable expectation for this downwards movement to end, where C and A reach equality within a zigzag is pretty common. If this target is at least a year away. We would expect a cycle degree wave to last at least a year, if not several. In the interim, we have a clear five-wave structure down now on the daily chart. I'm counting this as a one, two, three, and expanded flat for four, and a fifth wave, which isn't truncated, but didn't manage to make a new price extreme beyond the end of B within wave four pink. And here's a regular zigzag structure with a very long C wave for a second wave correction, possibly. Second waves can and often do correct very deep degrees, and within cycle wave A downwards, there were some deep second wave corrections. I would not be expecting within this cycle wave C for it to be a sheer drop, it should be volatile and there should be some deep corrections along the way. Wave 2 blue may not move beyond the start of 1, this wave count is invalidated with movement above 12,781.06 points. When we see movement below this point, which is the high of wave A pink, within the zigzag for wave 2 blue, we can have a lot more confidence in this wave count, because at that stage, from this low to the high, and I expect there's a little bit more to go up, that would be a very clear three wave structure, and downwards movement could not be seen as a fourth wave of a continuing impulse, because four can't move into one, that's why this is a strong confidence point for this wave count. Taking me to the hourly chart where the low for blue one down here is this point down here. We have a very brief A and B and a very long C wave in relation to A. It's past equality and 1.618 and 2.618 the length of A. The next Fibonacci ratio is 4.236 the length of A. And that would be achieved at 12,712.34 points. Within wave C pink we have an extended first wave brief second wave, here's the end of three and a zigzag for four, and we'd be expecting a fifth wave up. If wave five reaches equality with three and that's its maximum length, that will take price up to 12,762.9 points. So here's a target zone for a little bit more upwards movement to end this trend, and the upper edge of this target zone is also a maximum point for this wave count, if I have the labels of one and three green within this upwards movement correct. The trend channel I've drawn here is not strictly Elliott's technique, I've drawn it from 1 to 3. We should place a parallel copy on the low of 2, would show a fourth wave overshoot, but it wouldn't contain a lot of this upwards movement. So I've placed it lower on the end of wave 4 green. We would expect the fifth wave to probably come to end around the upper edge of this trend channel. The invalidation point is very close by, 12,540.58. Any second wave correction within wave 5 green may not move beyond the start of its first wave within it. Eventually when we see price move below this point, we may see that within the next couple of days we would have confirmation that the C wave is a complete structure and at that stage we're also with movement below this trend channel on the hourly chart, we'd expect that we've had a trend change and for this wave count would be expecting that it's a third wave down next. It is just possible, just possible to see a complete five wave structure up here, but I really don't think it's over here. I think it will continue up possibly for another day or so. On the daily chart, this is my alternate wave count within primary wave C to end the zigzag for cycle wave B. This alternate wave count sees upwards movement is incomplete with black 1, 2, black 3 ending here, and this is a fourth wave at intermediate degree, or black, and this is where wave 5 has just started. We need to see a satisfactory five wave structure up complete before this could be considered to be over. So the upcoming correction to the downside would be a fourth wave which cannot move into wave 1 price territory, and instead of ABC on the hourly chart we would count this as 1, 2, 3 
which has essentially the same structure and subdivisions as ABC. This would be the high of wave 1, which is at 12,060.71, so price movement below that point would invalidate this piece of movement, the way I've labelled it for this alternate daily wave count, and provide significant confidence in our main wave count. Movement below this would give significant loss of confidence for this alternate. Wave 4 black may not move into wave 1 black price territory below 10,719.94. As long as price remains above this point, this alternate will be viable. If we see price move to a new high above this point here, 12,781.06 points, my main daily wave count will be firmly invalidated, and so this alternate would be confirmed. If we see price move above that point, we should expect it to continue going on upwards to over 14,000. Only if we see movement above this price point will I calculate a target for upwards movement. I think it's a little premature to do so. I do prefer that main daily wave count because the proportions look a lot better than for the alternate. The alternate has some low wave degrees that are a lot bigger and more time consuming than higher wave degree corrections. It just doesn't really have the right look. That's all for me today with your Dow analysis. I'll try and update this once a week for you. If you want daily analysis of the S&P 500, you'll find it on my site.